It is time for chapter three. In the web of the spider. Hmm. More animation than we're used to seeing. That's like the, the, the thing they're leaning towards this time around, I think. Uh... Oh, goodness. This is usually in the moment of someone's death, so I'm just wondering, like, who will turn out to have died? Where were we? Oh, God, now I'm just accidentally clicking on everything. Uh, I don't, know, I don't know where that was or how to get back to it. I guess let's pay more attention to these just because I'm clearing their, their status, and that's not great. There's currently six inches of water. Six and a half inches of water. Water level. These look like paint pits or something. Somebody fell in the red and get and had to come crawling back out and left footprints. Thirty ser. Basket maximum load four vases. I would have I would have preferred to have finished exploring that scene, but I don't know where it is now because I lost it. Uh, but I mean, obviously I'm gonna explore it either way. But I, I would have preferred to start with that one because it's the starting spot. But I I panned out because I was like, usually there's a someone who just died. That's usually what what the rule is for these scenes existing. So when I didn't see a body anywhere, I was confused. A large cloak. There's like a brush. Or a wig, or some kind of thing of hair type stuff here. With a cloak and a scooter discarded. Only four vases can be carried along this rope. There's a basket at the bottom of the rope, so it seems like somebody used this to escape. But only so much, it only carries so much weight, and then they might have fallen into the red pit when they got out. Here's where we started. Haha! -ha. Thought you could fool me, spider? I have captured you and now you will answer for the death of the princess. Boop 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. The ambush of the spider. Jemadar Elara Sun and Havildar Lanja Sina will hide in the boats and guard the second entrance. I will approach from the front door with Jamander Elara Sina and Havildar. Kirthi, Kirthi Bandara. Titania Printing House, front door, hatch. So that's the printing house was the one that was sending the secret messages before. They might have figured out about the plan, the code, since he's, we know that he solved the other code with the lion. Jermadar, Ilara, Sina, and Soon. Havildar, Kirthi versus Lanja, Sina versus Barta. Okay. I saw the names Jemadar in both cases and thought, and was I was really confused because it looked like the same name twice, but the the last one's different, and then the second name is much more different between the. the it's they're both Havildar, but the rest is very different. Because for a second there, I'm like, are the same people lying in wait here and approaching at the front door? That can't be right. So these two, these three ambush in the front, and these two watch in the back for when they escape.
Master Putra Sun, I have already shared my suspicions about the disaster of the rebirth ritual. He is one of the shareholders of Titania Printing House, but my, my honor does not allow me to reveal his name. However, he goes by the name of Spider, and I plan to meet him at the printing house on November 22nd. Let me settle my private matter with him first, and then he is all yours. Hmm. They go after Spider for the assassination. Master Putra's son. These are the are all five shareholders of Titania Printing House. All of them are affiliated with the Seven Seas. Have a good hunt. I hope you will arrest the bastard. Master of Archive and Library, Siva Udawati. Futurist. Okay, so it's, we're on a di it's a different day today. So, oh my God. Okay. Let's just review who, who Peter's son was. Okay, so Peter's son was the Whisperer's guy. The Spy Master. But I actually don't have to identify people today? This is different. There are identities to be discovered here. Yeah, so everything said that says Peter's son's talking to the Spy Master. Which is also why he has these documents. Albert Cloudsley. Do do do. Bunch of data. Sent by the Seven Seas Company head office to help establish new trading posts in Lanka. Dangerous and very arrogant. Cannot be bothered to learn the basics of common Lemurian to improve his situation here. Narcissus Montalban. Natural philosopher, alchemist, and astrologer, banished from the Society of Hermetic Thought for revealing their secrets, claims to be able to switch someone's life off. Several philosophers who had conflicts with him died from unexplained causes. Very dangerous. Poisoner, probably. Or he has a, one of the idol type things. Cloud de Avro. An Aquitarian Marquis? Uh, despite his stature, he is a master swordsman. He has killed at least seven people in duels and was subsequently banished from Aquitania. Wears expensive clothing. Afraid of heights. May attack without provocation. Extremely dangerous. Hmm. Oberyn Geller is still around, so he was also part of this company. He's from the first mission. Unmarried, has concealed for the last five years that he has a Lankan mistress. A su surgeon hypnotherapist, probably an agent of the Seven Seas Company, has connections to the underworld that is well respected among pirates for providing medical services to their people. Curious about Lankan and Lemurian culture. A charming charlatan who avoids damaging his own reputation. Somewhat dangerous. Somewhat dangerous. Reuben Hendricks. A shipwright and former carpenter on the pirate ship Rabid Raccoon. <laughs> Isn't Raccoon spelled two C's? Uh, has a wooden leg, pretends to be drunk and quiet when it benefits him. Ah. St uh, steals and has an instigated riots. Made a fortune in Payjack, which makes me wonder if he hides cards in his wooden leg. Somewhat dangerous. Hmm. So it just straight up accuses him of pretending to be out it, out of it and drunk. Like when everyone was fighting each other in that other scene. To avoid dying, he just kind of shrunk into a corner like he wasn't there. Huh. You thought that the skies would have saved you? No luck for you, spider. Clean blade. Tonight during the operation, we will practice an old Lincoln code. Imagine what number the picture represents. In the sequence, count... Uh, count the word matching that number. Circle, follow your orders. Axes, trust no one except me. Yeah, 
in the sequence count to the world mark matching the number. So one and five, one circle, five axes or halberds. So follow me, first word, fifth word. He appears not to be armed, Master. We just searched him. It is hard to understand him, Master. The mask is muffling his voice. We have to get it off properly to interrogate him. I bet this isn't who they think he is, like the spider put this mask on somebody else to, as a distraction. Blah, 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 at gunpoint, blah, insolence, blah, blah, blasphemy. Don't have much to go on there. But I'm probably right. Ah, there's where the mask would be. Time of day. So it goes down to one inch during the day and 12 inches during the night, apparently. This is noon, no. Eight o'clock. 8 a.m., 8 p.m., maybe? A sunrise, sunset, I guess. Palace Guard, Special Guard, Royal Army, Royal Navy. Okay, so Jermadar and Havildar are ranks when we heard those earlier. We can figure out based on their hats. Havildars just have normal helmets, Jemadars have basic little plumes, and Su Subidars are just fucking aggressively lavish. <laughs> There's a lot going on with them. Educational Pictures for Little Putra by Spider. So the spider drew children's art for Putra when, when he was young or something? Those are the four card suits. The peasant, the boar, the archer, and the centaur. The peasant is goring the boar, but being shot by the archer, who's being killed by the, uh, the centaur. The spider puppeteers the magician. The bugs be watching. <laughs> the flying s spider. What the fuck am I looking at? It's the spider with the wings of the bug. Spider puppeteered the magician. The bug gave a gift to the spider. The spider stole the bug's wings. Apparently. Or something. Common guards, cuts, and master strikes with longsword by Paul Weber. Will of the Demon by Isidore Dux. When crabs attack by Jan Visu. <laughs> Proof of Life After Death by Mahesh. The Murian Legends by John Swinley. Seven Leaves Poetry by Samantha Alfrey. Commissioning prints of these titles, Master Library, okay. November 22nd, Friday, 8 a.m., meeting with the nephew of the bookworm. 10 a.m., pick up the pistol from the repairman. 2 p.m., buy supplies for the boat trip. 6 p.m., meeting with double wi the double widower. 8 p.m., rehearse the escape plan. 10 p.m., meeting with the money bag. 1 a.m., meeting with old butterfly. 6 a.m. meeting with the green boy. This is a timeline we'll likely have to check later, but for now it's noise to me. I'm ready to settle my debt to you. I will arrive on Friday at the time you specified. Please be alone. Probably won't be. Youngster. Ah, these old Lemurians are impenetrable. 
My spies report that a young Lemurian, Zabiri Kara, has arrived in the city. He is the son of Lemurian priest Yupik Kara. He probably does not know much about their old culture, but apparently has amazing Pajak skills. Happy Boar. Huh? <laughs> Alright. More and more evidence has led me to believe that the Lankan legend about the Fountain of Youth on the Secret Island and the rumors about the Forbidden Golden Idol refer to the same thing. Lemurians are extremely skeptical about their technological past. The topic is completely taboo in their society, which could be related to the downfall of their empire. They are reluctant to reveal the locations of their ancient technologies, but maybe in the future I can acquire some leverage. The Fountain of Youth. The Murins. They have forced my hand with their conservative stubbornness. I will not let these old mystics sabotage the Seven Seas company needs. It is time to invest in some creative research and see if I can find more about their secretive rituals and what makes them tick. What a peculiar principle. Life for life. If you do something good or bad to Lemurian, he is obliged to return the same amount back. Is it really that black and white? Or is there some diplomatic leeway? Life for life. So that's when they wanted to, you killed my child, so I'm going to kill your child last mission. But they were able to negotiate a different outcome at the time. Okay, that's the holist of thingies. I need, I need a lot more of a timeline before I start trying to construct that stuff out of this mess. The spider created a situation where he blah blah blah, therefore blah the secret of the blah blah to the blah blah. Uh... Golden Idol. <laughs> Maybe, actually. Rebirth Ritual? Could be Golden Idol, could be Rebirth Ritual. To help the Seven Seas Company, the Spider, blah, the blah, blah, of the Raja's Court, but the blah settled with the Raja. Because the Spider and the Italian Engineering Press help tipped off about the. <laughs> you have so little sentence to even start with. Blah Blah planned to blah the blah after meeting with the Titania Press, but Blah would warn with a encoded message to force Blah to wear a meah ha eh. And where the mask was caught as he left through the uh hatch. Meanwhile, Blah Blah left through the Blah, then killed Blah and escaped. We need the identity of the spider. So as I figured, the person in the mask is not the spider. The spider got away and tricked somebody else into wearing the mask. And we didn't we need to figure out what red moth and blue moth and who you know who who these represent, what the magic spell thing is, who the spider is. This one's called Identities, but this one's called something else, but these should be Identities, right? Huh. I'm inclined to think that the spider is Oberon, simply be Oberon Geller, because he's the one that specifically rescued, uh... Zubiri... Kara. Your name was Sun Kara? Just kind of putting that thought there for now. It might not be, I might not stick to that, but it seems like that'd be the younger and the elder of that family. And I just think about how, like, it felt like, since Zubiri didn't know Oberyn, I felt like Oberyn was rescuing him for ulterior motives in that scenario. Because he then showed up in the next mission and was in, was enthralled in a, in a murder.
Names are right. Oberon Geller, Zubiri, yeah. So he rescued him. And, he, and you were also here. But everyone else died. And then Oberon doesn't show up in the next mission. But then Zubiri was directly involved in this whole murder. So based on that... I think that might be what's going on with those guys. And I'm putting that thought down for now. Oop. He's dead. Tonight during the operation we will practice an old Lincoln code. Blah 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 blah. Guard. Front. Door. Yeah. If you give the instructions next to the code, on the code, and I can solve it in two seconds, it's not much of a code. You might as well just say the note. The we know the titanium printing house is where they wrote the secret messages that were used to plan the murder last chapter. So I think this means that they wore this, like, Japanese cartoon thief bandana and a beard. Uh, and then ran off. So whoever normally has that beard, he this is the spider, disguised themselves as that, ran away on a scooter, escaped on this thing. And is now all the way, he just is gone. He took this boat that was probably right here. Uh, did I find everything? I know I have all the, the words, but I'm trying to see if there's anything else on the map. I didn't expect this upper to leave the map, but I guess so. So you don't go upstairs or anything. So this looks... This harkens back to the card game they were playing, and it looks like it's the uh, two people that survived. So this is the prince and the princess, or whatever their correct terminology would be. The two heirs. And the spider was manipulating the prince, or helping the prince cheat, we knew that. But then the princess won. Anyway. Because the spider lost that, the uh... The blade master more successfully cheated. And the spider did not so much successfully cheat. So she became the air, but then they murdered her anyway, so... Hang on. But this... this... this panel makes sense that way if I go with my interpretation of thinking of the... Uh... If I, th if I think of the spider as being the master of, of spies. But if this guy ex escaped, then he wouldn't be right there with the boat being the master of spies. Because, like, the master of spies is right there. And I did have a shift here where I was interpreting this guy as being Oberon and this one as being master of spies. But I guess if Oberon was manip manipulating the master of spies, then... Or was in League originally, then it still works that way, I suppose. Because these do come across as like instructions for Putra, who is the Master of Spies, implying that they're just in League with each other, so he could be helping him escape. He's supposed to be one of these five people, potentially, and this guy's an idiot. We've never meet, we've never met these two people. And Oberyn and, and Reuben are the two people who survived the first mission. Well, 
Ruben was there, and we know that he's pretending to be passed out, but the fact that Geller did save him makes me think that Ruben it makes me think Geller's the one still doing it. Uh The danger ratings are funny, like you can just like you just know what someone's power level is. Ambush concealed, instigated, revealed, saved, switched. Uh, Spider created a situation where he saved Zubiri, Kara's life. Therefore, Zubiri. Kara revealed the secret of the rebirth ritual, because that's what the next mission was, to the spider. There we go. Right about that much. To help the Seven Seas Company, the spider... Mm, the... Mm, of the mm, at the Rogers Corp, but mm, mm, settled it when he. I hate how little sentence there is even to work with. It's just so frustrating to read, to even figure out what it means. Uh, let's let's solve who died up here because we have helmets So we have two middle rank guys and one high rank guy uh, one one low rank guy the low rank guy has the purple hat This low rank guy has the green hat and the ranks are over here Jemadar have a so it's Havildar Palace guard, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a Havildar palace guard is the one who died. <laughs> Havildar Kirthi Bandara. <laughs> There we go. So that's technically the body, because there's always a body. We've technically identified the body here, but I don't think that Kirthi is a character in this mission. So he's just the incidental death that, that makes the rule consistent where we're always visiting the time of someone's death. Who was tricked into the disguise, I wonder? To help the Seven Seas Company, the spider... It's, it's gotta be the rebirth ritual. Sabotage? The spider sabotage of the rebirth. Nope. Sentence not good. Bad sentence. I need a good sentence instead of a bad sentence. Um, revealed the location of the rebirth ritual of the Rogers Court. That's technically grammatically correct. <laughs> All right, uh, ambush instigated. Saved, revealed. To help the Seven Seas Company, the spider switched the location. The color limits things a lot. Not ambush. Let's 
sun. Where's Kara? Oh, it's up here now. Because Zubiri Kara is locked in. Some Kara settled it when he revealed the. It was some kind of secret. Was it the Golden Idol? Master Sun. Summon coder correspondence is being exchanged between someone at the, the palace and somebody else who do not like it, and my spies are working overtime to discover who is behind this. I still believe it is safe for your children to undergo the test, and for the chosen one to go through the state this the rites of rebirth. This came from Sun. That is his name, right? You pick Kara. Whoops. Okay, what message is from you pick? I appreciate this one, okay. I accept the invitation to facilitate the, the test and initiation. Our delegation will arrive with the necessary equipment. Regarding the Westerners, you already know that I strongly advise against trading with them. Do not understand the importance. So this is before anything happens, so it's not their bargaining. Okay, so we don't really know what happened with you, Pick. For sharing the secret, I will allow your Zobiri to live, but he must join me on the journey as insurance for your honesty. You are free to leave with your delegation. But what was the secret? He revealed something. Let's fix my let's fix my name problem. It should be reveal, I think. Hatch, mask, life, rebirth, ritual, clothing, door. Uh, it feels like he's re like he revealed the secret of the ritual or something, but I honestly don't know what's going on there. It's hard to make sense of that sentence. <clears throat> because the spider had blah, blahs, blah. <laughs> Help! Alright. Uh -huh. Because the spider had blah, the blahs. The mm of the mm. <laughs> it's so many blanks, I can't make any sense of it. However, prior to that, blah had tipped off blob. Fuck. Like, I guess if you figure out the sentence, then you know what to put in. Because you already know what they're going for, but trying to puzzle it out from this angle is rough. Let's see. So, Blah Blah had planned to ambush Blah Blah. <sighs> I'm so bad with names. Okay, so this guy's name is Putra Sun. So Putra Sun had planned to ambush 
Obren Geller. After me the meeting at Titania Press, but blah blah had warned Oberyn Geller. This is our placeholder for the spider. If, like I could be wrong later, but I'm just trying to make sense of it for now by placing anything. But I think I'm right. I think I might be right about Oberyn Geller. With an encoded message, so he forced blah blah to where revealed, saved, ambush, concealed. Oh, blah blah, and wear a mask. Uh, switch clothing and wear a mask. Blah blah was caught as he left through the hatch. Meanwhile, Oberon Geller left elsewhere. Left through the door, then killed. Kirthi Bandara. Of course. Okay. I can't believe I'm. I, I guess I shouldn't be that surprised I'm filling this part in now because this is the. Uh, this is the ending. Okay, so this is the rebirth ritual, right? It's the stupid little hat. Yeah, I told. Yeah. In fact, I've already confirmed it over there. So. Okay, so I'm also right about who both of those are. This is all correct, and also now Zabiri and you pick are both off of the uh, the word cloud. I think this is Zabiri Kara because he's the guy that Oberyn's manipulating. Mwah. Because he's impersonating Yupik Kara. That's what the torn off beard is with the with the evidence at the scooter and also this what's happening in this diagram. So that's the old man that's currently being attacked. Forced Yupik Kara to switch clothing and wear a mask. Yupik Kara was caught as he left through the, the blah blah blah. And we know this is Oberon Geller now, so this should be mostly right. It was Putra's notes that were about ambushing Oberon Geller. The question is whether or not it was. Did you pick warn him or did somebody else warn him? Let's see if I can find who warned him without before I guess. Maybe before I start putting anything in. These are by the spider. There's not evidence of where his information came from because he's the one making them. Seeming, I think they're making these to taunt Putra later, basically? Unless he was working with Putra all along. I'm ready to settle my debt to you. I'll arrive on Friday at the time you specified. Please be alone. I don't know what to make of this specifically. So this is where they planned about trick tricking him at Payjack. There's connections here between other stuff, but I don't know if this is helpful for what we're doing specifically. Meeting with the old butterflies at 1am. 
Meeting with the green boy, 6 a.m. I think I'm supposed to look at what time of day it is right now. So it's, let's say it's six inches. So we're at, it's the halfway point between the other examples. There are torches lit and it looks generally dark. So I think it's supposed to be nighttime right now. And this is 8 a.m. and so on. So the halfway point should be 12 hours later. So it's currently, what, 2 a.m.? Meeting with the nephew of the bookworm. Pick up the pistol from the repairman. Buy supplies for the road for the boat trip. Meeting with the double widower. Rehearse the escape plan. Meeting with the money bag. Meeting with the old butterfly. Meeting with the green boy. So he's going to meet the green boy in four hours. He just met with you pick one hour ago. There's a pistol and supplies for a boat trip, so he's planning on his escape. And then there's, of course, the actual escape plan. Nephew of the bookworm. Double widower money bag. Expensive clothing. Cloud Delvery. So you're the spider. The question is who... Who hired... Uh, who warned him? Who's the double widower? Oh, I called him the money bag, but he's the double widower. Two late wives. Does the schedule ultimately reveal when he learned anything, though? He was already getting supplies for the boat trip all the way back at 2 p.m. I don't think Putra is a character in these comics. And given that they're manipulating the dude... I think Putra is the one who warned him. I think Putra is being a double agent here. And, ulti and ultimately, uh... Warned him before hunting him down. Mwah. Uh, there's not that much information in this one. So the informa there's something in here to connect. <clears throat> it could be any of the other... ...members of this, the group, but who? 
Is this, is this meant to convey information to Putra or just taunt him? The debt to him could be any number of people, but it could be Zabiri because that's the person who he rescued. Since he sent, so it could be that since he saved Zabiri's life, he then nephew of the bookworm. I think it's Zabiri. Mrah. Who knows? Okay, Putra's son had planned to ambush Oberon Geller at, at the meeting at Titania Press, but Zabiri Kara had warned Oberon Geller with an encoded message, so he forced Yupik Kara to switch clothing and mask Yupik Kara and wear a mask. Yupik Kara was caught as he left through the hatch, meanwhile Oberon Geller left through the door, then killed Kirthi. Would it be the door? Yeah, because he's dead out front. So I think it is just the matter of who warned him. Where's the encoded message? Is this an encoded message? Oh! Guards will attack after Lemurian leaves. This is the symbol's clue. Guards will attack after Lemurian leaves, but who sent the message? I guess the master of the library is the implication there. Hmm. Master of the library was. <laughs> uh, let's see. Trading posts. Married to alchemy. <laughs> Natural philosopher, alchemist, and astrologer. It wouldn't be you because you are the spider. Oh, wait. Siva Udawate. Why is it up here? I, I must have an alphabetical reversed. There we go. Look at me go. I don't know what's happening in the middle when it scares me. Okay. Um. Is it the idol of the rebirth ritual? No. Nope. Ooh. More than two are wrong. Oh boy. What, what the, to help the Seven Seas Company, the spider... We know this means rebirth ritual. Is the Golden Isle involved? He could have concealed the, lo the location of the Golden Idol. I 
think we might be wrapping the golden idol back into the narrative here. Because you don't reveal the rebirth ritual to the guy running it. No, I'm completely wrong about this. This is just a 100% not, just not getting what they're asking me here. Okay. Blah. I know how this started and ended. <laughs> Help the Seven Seas Company, the Spider, blah, 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 the blah, 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 the Rajas Corp. Blah, blah, blah. Saved, revealed, ambushed, switch, concealed, instigated. Hmm. I wonder if the hypno stuff's been coming up. It's crucial to our operations in the South Seas to secure trading fortresses in the Lenk Archipelago. Regrettably, Lemire continues to object to it and advises the local rulers against our presence. The Lemurians cannot protect, uh, project their power directly, but they still have the spiritual authority in the Lenkan kingdoms, which used to bring uh, belong to the now crumbled Lemurian Empire. Lemurian influence on Lanka must be broken. Cooperate with our agents in the region. In particular, Mage, Widower, and Doctor could prove useful. Remember that your reward for a job well done will be enormous. Hmm. Doesn't give me a ton, does it? Obviously, they want trade. Mm. This, I think, were mostly just notes about who should come and why. I still believe it is safe for your children not to go to the test. The Murian Saint confirms that the ritual is the same as when you were sworn in when you came of age. With strength in relations to Abaya, the Radiant, in order to establish a trading outpost in Lanka and bring these four locally produced pigments to Europe. Our cultural tolerance department has provided a gift, a statue appropriate to these devil worshipping societies. Find if they appreciate it, consider pretending to be a devil worshipper too. speak Lemurian they call you see the name master it's divided into kingdoms
Oh, it was the spider that succeeded and the blade master that failed. Have I been getting that wrong for a while? Or not? I don't know. There's so many places to get your wires crossed. This is like a super messy description of like firefighters or something. Yeah, you got the fake beard. I've, I've pretty much pieced this stuff together. There's no documents in these places. Yeah, so it, the, this case is pretty concentrated at this boathouse, and even here, it's mostly just two screens, because this guy's just a body. So it's these guys and here. It's pretty much the entire case. Huh, <sighs> okay. Instigated. Instigated the sabotage of the rebirth ritual. Because he sent a. He sent instructions on how to kill the sibling to both siblings. Then you pick settled it when he. Saved the life. I don't think that's correct. <laughs> you don't save a life to Raja. Definitely feels like revealed. The secret? Hatch door, clothing mask, hatch door, rebirth, sabotage, ritual, life. What did he reveal? What's the secret he told? He told him something and then they were going to go on a journey with his son as collateral. That tells me he told him the location of the Golden Idol? There we go, okay. Because <clears throat> if they're going on a journey then they definitely have to be a location, so they're definitely going on some kind of expedition for that, okay. Hmm. Because the spider... <laughs> God, I hate this one. I hate how this one's more blanks than words. Like, it's just so hard to parse what the sentence is. Every single yellow golden word is already on the board. So they're, re they're repeating from elsewhere. This is a whole expansion campaign. What can we get from the original game? This whole thing started with a mission for... That's Albert Cloudsley and Oberyn Geller. Okay. Albert Cloudsley pushed Oberyn Geller from a cliff in the Horn of the Thumb on Monkey Paw Island. Okay. They're big on the, uh... 
Oh, this is empty down here. Wait, wait, what? Wait, did I never finish the first mission of this game? And no one, I don't think anyone told me that. Uh, the ruins of Xenopolis? No? Cunt camp on the Horn of Thumb. There. <laughs> and this, this is all the way down here and I never noticed it. I think I never t finished the first mission of this game, technically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the gems. Yeah, that's this is the the doctor from the original mission. Albert Cloudsley has the rights to two thirds of all valuables for funding the expedition. Albert Gallen Geller has rights to one third of all valuables and any golden statues found for providing the map to the expedition site. So Geller was here for the cool statue because it was important and knew that he could con Albert by having him just get whatever else. Whatever, you can have whatever else I find. Who cares? But then Klausley pushed him off a cliff and killed him. These definitely used to be more 2D than 3D, I, th I think. The 3D effects are new. But I don't think this gives us a lot of information about... Like, how to fill this in? It just shows us that this game is a prequel... ...to the original story. The Ober and Geller went through all this to go for the Golden Idol to only get pushed off a cliff by some dude. That just kind of seems like a douchebag and not very <laughs> smart about what's happening in the situation in general. Kind of like how the main story ended up with it all getting wiped out by some dude. The spoiled kid from the family from five missions ago. <clears throat> God, I really crashed into a fucking wall here. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Because the spider had something, something. God. I guess because he saved Zabiri Kara's life, Yupik Kara revealed the location of the Golden Idol. Because this is Yupik giving the spider a gift. The spider has this document saying. Life for a life. Is it really that black and white, or is there some diplomatic leeway? So he found like a different way of resolving it without Zubiri dying. And so Yupik now owed him a debt. Yupik Kara had tipped off Putra Sun. About the sabotage of the ritual. 
Mmm. We're close. Because Putrin knows, and he was about to ambush. question is, is one of the names wrong or are the verbs wrong and whatnot? Uh, okay. Because the spider has saved Zabira Kara's life, you hear Yupik Kara revealed the location of the Golden Idol at the Tim of Titania Press. This makes sense because we know that that the spider is Oberyn and Oberyn went on to go after the Golden Idol and get pushed off a cliff and caused the whole main game to happen. So everything above that is probably correct. I hope. However, prior to that, Yupik Kara had tipped off Peter. Was it just that Zubiri had tipped him off instead of Yupik? No, that's even worse. It also confirms that that part is you pick. So it was that you pick Kara tipped off somebody. It's gold words. The sabotage of the ritual, the location of the spider. Because they did come here to get him. So the location of the spider, did he plan this? There we go. It's that he, re he revealed the location, and that's why the ambush was happening. Okay. Huh. It's not the most insane connections to make, it's just that the sentence is so... It's got so many holes that it's mostly empty space, so it's so hard to parse what you're looking at. The scroll has been fulfilled. The Lemurian priest had hoped to fulfill his honor-bound duty by revealing the location of the Golden Idol to Oberyn Geller before allowing Petra's son to ambush and arrest him. But Oberyn had been forewarned, so he forced Yupik to, ex to exchange clothing at gunpoint and made him wear a mask while Putra's people were distracted by the masked Yupik. Oberyn, disguised as the priest, killed the guard and escaped with the map. Listen, Albert. I hold a proposition of business. And then they both died over the next two missions. The end. Okay. We did it. We did it! The spider was the friends we made all along the way. <laughs> Just the ending? That's a little thank you note. I don't think you'd do anything in the screen note. He was just a very angry spy master all along. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we finished the DLC to gold, the case of the Golden Idol. That got harder faster. Wow. Holy shit. Uh, we'll see if they make any more. They they said first DLC, so I'm curious about that. But the uh see if they make any more in the future. See you guys next time. <laughs>